going round. Yes, and we are live. Woohoo! What's um, happening? <laughs> everyone, you will know um, who I'm speaking to today because I don't really need to give an introduction because, as you will know, they're so already out there. We've got Jay Sean and Rishi Rich who are joining me today on the Punjab 2000 page to talk about their new song, Nakare. And we're going to find Nakare, out a little bro. bit about that, but also how these guys are just smashing it. Like, definitely smashing it. Is that? Oh, there we oh, are. Yeah. <laughs> During COVID times. You know what? Thank you very much, Jay and Rishi. Of Thank course. You so much for joining us. Um, I love, you know what? I love the red chair, Rishi, and I love that top. You guys are looking so trendy. I thought I'd one out with this top. It's too bright. Trendy, yeah, Jay's a trendy one. I've been wearing <laughs> the same. I, I wear black t shirts and blue jeans for the last 20 years. My whole wardrobe is just one those two outfits so uh yeah. minry i'm i'm loving the uh, artwork in the background oh there, god the, yeah the deer the deer in the pond it's you know what it's a desi style that's it's what it is so de- it's as desi it is, as it gets I know. it's amazing <laughs> thanks okay firstly you know what a huge congratulations um on the release mm. of nakare which released yesterday amazing you. you know what i've i've listened to it yesterday i was listening to it today Mm. I've had loads of people post about it, and as you were saying, weren't you saying, Jay, it's had so many views already? How many has it had? I don't know. It's gone through the roof. It's gone nuts. But it's anyway, yeah. It's, it's, yeah. it's mental. It's, done, it's okay. done really well. It's still very early days, and um, yeah, you know, it's uh, it's great. I think the 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 reception, and you know, it's it's just one of those things which just really makes you smile, and it's really um heartwarming to see the. You know the video, but more even just the song. You know the video. So, the video. There's so, there's so many you aspects. Hundred percent said video just then. <laughs> video. Yes, um, bro. I'm telling you, Mumbai is uh, India has rubbed off on you, bro. <laughs> the video is yeah. doing very well. <laughs> yeah, um, very, very well. <laughs> very well. Very how well. That, how did the idea come about then? For what the video? For the yeah. video. The video. Um, <laughs> Uh, so basically, you know what it is. Um, obviously, making a music video <clears throat> during COVID times is basic. It's it's near to impossible, um, especially in India. The lockdown is so hard that you know you can't assemble that many people together in one room and socially distance. And same for me in America, it's really bad. So we had to figure out a way to do a music video without having that many people on set, which is really hard. So we decided because of the song, um, in the song, there's a lyric that said, I always have my eyes, always have my eyes, eyes on you, right? So of course it was a nod to Eyes On You, the song, uh, my first song ever. And uh, well, first solo. And of course the, the Eyes On You video was so iconic because I was bopping through South of Broadway, you know, just putting, repping South or for the masses. And um, when it came to this video, we were like, why don't we do that again? But this time in the little India of, of uh, New Jersey. So we went to this place called Edison, New Jersey, and I did the same thing. We only had two people on set. Uh, it was me, the cameraman and the assistant. And we were just walking down the street and I was singing to the camera, just like eyes on you. And it was just that, and all the fans caught it. They were like, I get what he's doing. And um, that's it. And then the animated part we can talk about in a bit. But it's amazing. I mean, I, this is the thing. It's such an upbeat and happy song. Like you literally just want to dance to it. I mean, was was that part of the idea that because of the times that we're in and everyone's feeling quite down and anxious mm. and it's difficult, you know, was that the idea? Because do you know how I felt when I listened to it? It oh. felt like your song back in the day, that this was taking mm. me back to 2004. Being yeah. in, you know, like you feel happy. There was no worries then. There was none. Interesting, of it. isn't it, Rich? Everyone's saying the same thing. Yeah. Uh, one second, guys. Sorry. And uh, even though I know we're live on Facebook, my daughter has entered the room and would like to speak to her father. Hello. Um, it's an emergency. It's an emergency, apparently, guys. Yeah. Uh, Please don't say you need to poop. We're live. No. What? Toby's awake, and I need Alex, and I have. Oh, okay. Well, you can come and sit here. Just sit over here. What? Darling, I'm live on Facebook. Wait. It's crazy. Everyone's waiting. Like, everyone's it's... suspense. It's yeah. crazy. Wait. Okay, so go and find Alex. Um, <laughs> sorry, guys. Oh, bless. Um, it's all right. Yeah, uh, it's... it's hard. So, so, look, we wrote the song two years ago, so we didn't know COVID was around the corner, you know, but what we do very well 
is we create vibes. Me and Rish create vibes, whether it's a, 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 we create feeling, right, in our music, because whether it's to make you smile, make you dance, a lot of the time me and Rish do do up-tempo club bangers. That's what we, you know, usually that's what we do together, but we do slow jams like Holding On and Mary John. We do those very well as well. But this one was just strictly for vibes, feel good. It makes you want to dance, puts you in a good mood. And uh, we wanted the video to reflect that too, so. And the video was amazing. I mean, that is like Little India there. It is like Southall. I, I didn't even know that existed there. How, I mean, how yeah. was it to film? Every, every, every place in the world has a Little India, right? So Edison, New Jersey is sort of the Little India of, of Jersey. And it's got, it's the same thing as South of Broadway. You've got all the Indian shops and this, yeah. that and the other, and so, you know, the Indian soup shops and the sweet shops and stuff. And, but what was mad was everyone was wearing masks and it was on a public holiday in America. So a lot of people weren't out anyway. Had that been on any other normal day, there would have been hundreds of people on the street. So in a way we kind of lucked out that we had the, the room to maneuver without mm. too many people on the street. But also it was kind of weird because it was a little bit deserted, unlike Eisenhower, where it was packed. So a lot of people were a little bit confused what was going on because they're all wearing masks. And because obviously I wasn't wearing a mask and I'm being filmed, they didn't clock on straight away that it's Jay Sean until they figured it out. And then towards the end, we had tons of people. We even got a little shot in the video where the fans are, are filming and taking pictures. Um, but it was really sweet. And there's, you know, there's like some aunties with the mask going, who is it? Who is this? <laughs> What are you? What are you doing? Excuse me. You are a singer. Yeah, auntie, I'm a singer because the song's playing. That's, that's the obvious thing I'm singing. Who are you? Uh, don't worry, auntie. Uh, Jay Sean. You are the Jay Sean. <laughs> yes. So it was cute. Yeah, it was really cute. But you know what? Do you feel that this is, look, it wasn't planned, right? But it happened in COVID. How do you feel knowing that this is going to be a memory for you guys and what a memory it is? Because it has touched hearts. People are loving it. Like it's really, honestly, it's just, it's that light that I think in a time of darkness, which is amazing, mm. right? You've done something so good for mm. people who are feeling really quite, yeah. they are feeling anxious, you know? So it's, uh, it's a memory. It a, I think it was a case of, you know, we spoke about this. We didn't actually overthink it too much as well. It was, um, you know, I personally feel like a lot of music coming out at the moment is very, very dark. You know, a lot of people, you know, and I've said this time and time again because I, you know, I've, as a producer, I feel there's a lot of people, I wouldn't say ego, but there's a lot of people kind of going for each other, you know, where they, and I think with this song, this really represents what, what Jay and myself are about. Like everything we've made is very, has always been positive. You know, it's always had that kind of, you know, we make pop records and that's, mm. that's what we do. You know, we don't try and make anything else. We make what we do and we've done that from day one. And, it was a case of like, do we hold back because obviously what's going on around the world or should we just put out music because music is music, whether people listening to it at home or, mm. you know, streaming it. It's like we want to we actually just felt that we want the world to hear what we've been working on. Yeah. Um, and it was only until it actually came out that, you know, yesterday we, we you know, when we were speaking on the phone, we were like, it's such a great thing that it did come up because people's messages were like thank you so much this has made me smile this has brought a smile to my face the video is amazing it's just very cute it's you know it's just got that kind of good feeling good positive vibe and um i think you know it's it's great that it, it it's touched people in that way you know and you know what talking about you saying cute i've just had some really nice comments so somebody did say oh my god how cute is this um oh my god you guys are legit and le legitimately the best it's incredible to see how much you have both achieved since 2004 which is what i was going to say i mean like that many years on it's true mm. you've achieved so much how do you feel about that it's amazing i mean like honestly i'll be honest with you uh in this day and age of music in this day and age in 2020 if you are a singer or a pop star or any artist and if you last longer than one year you are lucky. If you last longer than one song, you are lucky because music right now has become disposable, right? You grab this, you listen to it for, and you're like, wicked, onto the next person, onto the next. You're just onto the next. There's so many artists in this world now. There's tons. If you go on like Spotify, there's so, there's so many. You have your choice. It's not, it's no longer, 
whoever's who's playing on radio, not all. That's not who you're listening to. You're listening, you're discovering music. So for us to have fans, solid fans, who have stuck with us through all these years is such a blessing. It's so beautiful. So many people say it to me. They're like, dude, you're 17 years into the game. That's insane. Rishi's 20 plus years in the game. Who gets to say that? It's really amazing. And you're right, though, it has changed, hasn't it? it definitely in the music industry, but mm. I think even in the world of just the media, like myself as mm. a presenter, it's really, it has changed. It's so competitive. And I think what you oh, guys yeah. have done, you know, it's hard, right? It's not the same as what it was before, but- No, it's, even, but, even for like you, right? Like there's, people have their own channels on their Instagram now. People are hosts on their own Snapchat. They're everyone on YouTube, everyone's yeah. gone doing their thing. So it's a lot more competitive. Yeah, massively. I mean, and I guess in terms of how, what would you say that has, you know, has been your, I guess your values or what is it that has kind of got you, got you guys doing what you have been for so many years? You know, what do you think it is that keeps you going as, you know, as, as, as you do now, because you are still where you were back then. I still think yeah. that in terms of you are massive and everybody knows who you are. You know what I mean? And mm. it, I think it's mostly, yeah, because of fans, but I do think anyone you speak to, they know who you are. And they love mm. you guys. They've got nothing but positive to say. So I guess, what would you say is that thing that keeps you going or makes you stay where you are in the industry? Go on, Rish. Um, I don't really know, you know. It, I think it's a case of, you know, when being in the, in the, being in the industry and doing something that you love um, is one thing, you know, and to really kind of passionately really want to kind of do what you want to, you know, what you want to do, represent the scene, put out good music. I think one of the key things I think about us um, is that we've just we've just stayed in our own lane. You know, mm. it's it's never been like you know the amount of success that Jay or you know who, or myself or Juggy or even other people that it's it's that's fine, but that's part of our journey. You know, like I've all I've always considered music as it is my job. That's what I do. You know, I, I, I get up in the morning, I'm in the studio at nine, I'm working, I don't work on Sundays. You know, I have these rules where, because that's what I do, that's my work, that's my work life. Mm. And, you know, um, and it's obviously sometimes when you don't feel a vibe, you don't work. Um, but I just think that we've just, you know, I mean, personally speaking for me, I've just always just remained like focused, keep my head down, um, don't really get involved in too much politics, you know. I'm always learning. I'm always kind of uh, perfecting my craft as such. You know, I still watch tutorials about, um, you know, the music, the, the you know Studio One, the program that I use. You know, uh, all the my, you know, my earnings go to plugins, not mm. to designer watches. And, you know, Rishi that's, really that's, loves. That's Rishi really loves music. Rishi, if I can speak on behalf of you for a second, because uh, there's some people who sort of live and breathe music, and that's their life, and. Rishi's just that guy, you know, he, um, uh, ever since I've met him, he's always been a student of music, you know, um, he lives and breeds it. That's what he does. He lives in his studio, you know, yeah. and, uh, and, and that's it. And it hasn't stopped. Um, I think that's, that's probably a really important thing to be able to know, uh, you know, this is me, this is all I do. Um, yeah. And, and and I love it and and that's it and, and also you have to adapt yeah you know for me the reason I've stayed along this long is because I have always studied the greats I studied people like Michael Jackson I studied people like <clears throat> you know Whitney Houston or whoever the people who whose careers you know spanned decades and the reason they did is because they weren't egotistical in their own art. They understood that music and the landscape of music and sounds of music will change and they learned to adapt with that. Um, and that's how you carry on being successful because you go, oh, I guess that sound is dated now, but let's, what's, what's popping now? What's happening? Let's, let's mess around with this. So I've always tried to do that. I've always tried to stay current and relevant musically. Yeah, that's interesting though, and it makes sense. That's why you know you mm. are doing what you do and you love what you do, which is fantastic to see. And I've got a question for you, Rishi, um, from Kyle Hare. You've worked with incredible talent over the years, including Britney mm. Spears. With the way the music industry is moving now compared to 2004, the year of the CDs and A&Rs, what different approaches and new artists will you be working with? And how do you feel about the industry now compared to back then? 
then and who would you ideally like to work with in the future um i think it's um you know i think what's going on now is is a great thing as well for the industry in terms of you know your music reaching uh, such a big audience with you know with all the DSPs, the, the streaming uh, platforms, you know it's so accessible now to put your music out. And I think, you know, when I started, it was meeting new artists was always word of mouth. It was a friend knew a friend who was a singer, yeah. you know, and he comes down to the studio. Where now someone can just message you on Instagram, and say, look, I'm a singer. Here's my, here, you know, this is what I do. And a lot of new artists. And I think what Jay was saying that something that kind of has kept me going is always working with new artists, young artists, mm, that's true. Uh, discovering new talent. One of the reasons why I set up the label was to kind of, you know, um, in India and here in Mumbai was to work with new artists. And and I think uh, as a producer, you've just got to go with the times. You know, you've just got to, it is this is this is this is the time the time we're living in now where physical sales aren't there. Even though vinyl sales actually have just shot through the roof, but you know, it mm. is all about. Um, you know, uh, being, getting your music out there. If you look at all the greats, like what Jay was saying, like I, you know, I, I love people like uh, Scott Storch and Timberland. Mm -hmm. And if you look at them now, they are doing, you know, uh, uh, master classes and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. You know, everyone changed their kind of perspective of, it's not just about making music. It's about putting your, um, your mind and your, and, and your teachings and delivering it in, in a different way, whether it, it's myself like being an A&R now, you know, that's mm. something that I've, I've, I've always done that without having that title, if that makes sense. But so um, it's, I, I love the fact and I love, I, and you know, within even you know, um, with COVID, you know, in lockdown, there's, there's, so, there's so many things that could have gone, I could have gone this way and said, okay, I don't want to do anything. But I actually, I, I said, you know, I've got so much music I'm going to put out. I'm going to set a label up in covid i'm going to set up a label and we're going to get you know i've got a great team and we're going to um we're going to start putting more music out than ever you know and so i think you know i think music it has it's the industry is in a great place obviously with people that touring and stuff like that that there is a frustration there but i encourage artists right now to you know to start your own label to start your own youtube channel you know to put music out there because you know, it's music shouldn't remain just on the, on on your computer. You know, you should just give it to the world, let people hear it. More questions coming in. Really good questions, actually. Can we expect to see a new release, which we'll talk about Nakare again because I think they've just joined, or a new album soon? From who? This is from. A no, no, no. Uh, is it from me or from Rich? Oh, from album? Both of you. This question for you both. Um, Ayush. Yeah, I, I mean, look. Here's my take on on. On, on releasing music. Much like Rishi said, it should just stay on your hard drive, right? And sometimes we get so precious with music. And I personally, look, my personal opinion is this. An album, to me, is a little dated. I think it's a dated concept, personally. There are some people who love it. My thing is this. People love it because they like a body of work. They like to go, oh, I remember the My Own Way album, and that reminds them of that era, and it was a whole body of work, right, um, or whatever it is. But right now, the way that we consume music, even the way that we consume TV shows, you don't wait every Saturday or Sunday for an episode to come on anymore. Of course you don't. You just stream the whole thing and you just, you know, you you, you just, it's just, ah, it's take, just everything is just like, give it, give it, give, it, give me some, give more, more, more. So with music, who wants to wait two out two years for an artist to make an album? Because usually, honestly, you need that two years of a year or two of experience, things to write about. That's how it used to be. If you look at people, like I said, if you look back at the greats, even Michael Jackson probably had what did he have? Five albums, four, five albums in his yeah. whole career. Because it took him years to make one. Now people are just churning out stuff like this. So my whole thing is just give them music give them content after nakre they're gonna want something else in a month probably <laughs> and if it was an album they're waiting for that would take too long so my whole thing is just bang 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 yeah. hit them with different stuff and then if you want you guys can just put a playlist together and then that can be your album but that's mm. how i look at it i just think look drake drops a song okay drake dropped the um 
pop star. Do we know what album it's from? No. Does anybody ask? Does anybody care? No. Before they listen to it? No. They no. just consume it. Yeah. So that's it. Give, give them music. That's how I look at it. Let's talk a little bit about Nakare, right? Because that's your first song that you are singing in Punjabi. There's lines. Of, you know what? Your Punjabi is good, man. Seriously. You know you it, bro. Punjabi. <laughs> Come on, bro. <laughs> <clears throat> Here's the thing. My Punjabi is all right, yeah. Like I, because you know, I grew up with my daddy and Baba speaking to Punjabi, speaking in Punjabi to them. But it is honestly a little bit tukti putti Punjabi. It's a little bit, sometimes a bit of English in there, sometimes a bit of a remote control of it, a bit of like you know, a little accent on something. Sometimes it becomes Hindi, and my mom and dad are like, "No, that's Hindi." And I'm like, "Oh, okay." So when it came to writing the Punjabi, I had to make sure that uh, it was correct. You know, because certain certain words I might not, you know, I might not get right. It's not my primary, you know, but it's fun singing it. And and to be honest, like I always sing uh, Juggies bits anyway. When when we're on when when we're um, performing live, um, and Juggies not there, I always do Juggies parts. And he, by the way, always does my parts. Sorry, one second. He always does my parts. Um, he always does my parts in English. So uh, it was just fun. It was fun to sing it this time. And do you think that that's something that you will do maybe going forward in other songs because you enjoyed it? I mean, who knows, right? Like yeah. I, I said to Rish, um, I wasn't even going to planning on doing it. And Rishi was like, bro, just sing it. And I was like, all right. It wasn't like, whoa, you're going to be singing in Punjabi. It was just like we left it on there. And Rishi yeah. was like, bro, it's a vibe. Keep it. So Ooh. who knows, right? Listen, I wouldn't mind a Tutti Futti Punjabi track. I think that would be wicked. We'd all It'd be, be hilarious. <laughs> It'd be hilarious. It would be for this generation. <laughs> They'd finally understand it. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. And um, some more questions. So, who's your favorite singer, Rishi and Jay? So that's to both of you. Oh, wow. Um, my favorite singer. I don't really have a favorite. I, I don't mm. really have one singer. Like, um, you know, I, I, I love, I love different vocal tones. I, you know, as a mm. producer, I, I've had the privilege of of hearing so many different vocal tones working with some incredible talent um you know um i i i personally loved the old school bollywood like the kumar sanus mm. or did the lions that that's that's where i grew up my love for you know and rd berman you know they're still very unique tones i like unique yeah. tones Same. um I like you know tones, i yeah. I, I'm, I i love singers that just have a different tone so and yeah so i don't really have a favorite as such mm. Okay, what about you, Jay? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm into tones as well, really, more than that. Yeah. Technical stuff, a lot of people can be technically brilliant and do all those riffs and runs and stuff, but maybe they don't make you feel a certain way. Like, there's something about, for me, it's about uh, what, what I love about vocalists is can they emote? When they sing something, do I feel it? Do I believe them? And that's what it is. So for me, you know, uh, I would say there's singers like Music Soul Child who has to me, one of the most incredibly velvety tones out there. It's like silk, you know, and I'm really into that sort of texture of a voice. Um, but then there's technically brilliant singers, you know, like Ryan McKnight and, and all these guys who can just do runs for days. And so, you know, Wanye from Boys to Men, they're, they're like, I think they're the old schoolers, you know? And then I've got someone who's just messaged Pramjit Bamra. Hey Rishi, hey Jay, what motivates you in Bollywood music production? And Jay Sean, what mm. happened to your Desi releases? Yeah, weird question. My Desi um, releases. This yeah, is one of them. <laughs> but what, what, you know, what, what motivates you in Bollywood music production? Mm, Bollywood music production. That's a that's a weird one. Um, mm. Nothing really. I mean, I think you know the thing is that <laughs> nothing um, really. What amazing <laughs> answer. <laughs> No, because there isn't no such thing as Bollywood music. But if right. I think, well, I think maybe what she's trying to uh, say, or he or she is, is um, when since I've moved to Mumbai and I've been here for like four years and I've worked on film music, um, I've I've not changed my sound. You know, I've not changed my sound. Um, I was having an interview before, and they were saying, you know, in the last three years. Or in sorry, in the last two years, you know, you've done Pal Pal Dil Ke Paas, you've done Half Girlfriend, you've done mm -hmm. Gully Boy, uh, now you've done Nakre, and you've done some other stuff, and everything is very different. But there's an underlining current which is your sound, you know. And I think for me, uh, the whole thing was to be in Mumbai is for is for my sound to be 
you know, it's for me to work on film right. music, but I have like my drums. The Richie you know, Rich like, twist, yeah. People like my the way I kind of program my drums, they're quite heavy or strings or sam you know, sampling or you know, like so that's something which um no matter who I'm working with, whether it's an English artist or whether it's a film track or whether it's a Punjabi track, I still mm. I have the same kind of formula which is which is my my sound. Um um and to answer that more i th i think it's been it's been really interesting and enjoyable working here in mumbai because um it's allowed me to kind of work on a lot of different projects you know and uh and and just give and just experiment you know and with a great team um you know i think something like nakre was you know it it's it nakre could easily go in a film the way it is right. so when you've got a song that you don't really have to mess with too much Mm. It's that universal kind of sound, like myself, Kieran, Jay. We're in the studio. That can go in a, you know, in a in a film the way it is. And that for me kind of shows that music now. It's it's not like okay, I'm gonna make a Bollywood song now, or I'm gonna make a, you know, it's just like, oh, we're gonna make music. So yeah, it's just um, it's 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 just been very kind of, it's just been a universal process of just making music. And what about the title Nakare? I mean, where did that come from? Because you know, talk me through the process of when you guys, I mean, I know it's a collaboration since 2004, but if just, what is the process in terms of beginning <coughs> to end? How does it come about? Is it from you guys just having a conversation or? No, how no. Do you, lyrically, you lyrically, we don't approach it until melodies are done, usually, okay. right? I would say, right, Rich, 99% of the time we start with melody. Yeah, um, yeah. And the melodies only come out in terms of how the song, the, the, the music makes me feel. So, a lot of the time with Rishi, when we do our upbeat songs, you don't have to get too heavy on lyrics. Nobody's trying to listen to heavy lyrics when they're dancing. If you're in a club and a song comes on, you're not gonna go, wait a minute, what did he say? What? No. You're just dancing. You're not listening to lyrics like that heavy. Sometimes people don't even know what the lyrics are. They're just like vibing, you know? And um, so when it comes to upbeat stuff, I don't worry too much about lyrics. I keep it something fun, catchy. So like, you know, on the second verse, I make it ca catchy, uh, you know, with the uh, don't know, lo, lo, no, no. All of those things are easy to sing for people. They're little things that people can catch onto and sing. Um, and that's it, really. I go with the feeling. Melody to me is most important with upbeat kind of stuff. And in terms of the hard work that is put into this, I mean, come on, we, you know, as an audience, right, we only see the end result. And we see right. that, you know, and it's brilliant. And I know myself being in the industry that mm. there's a whole team there, right? That make it happen. And it's hard work. Mm. Talk mm. me through mm. that, you know, how do you all come together? How much work does it involve? And then you get to this amazing product at the end that, you know, we kind of, we're, we're consuming that, but we don't realize yeah. all the hard work that goes into it. There's, um, I can really speak for this because Jay knows how, how much is, um, is, Jay, is, is Jay frozen? No, frozen. I don't think so. Is he? I don't know. Jay, Looks like yeah, he might be. Madam Tussauds going on. <laughs> yeah, it's true actually. That's a, that is a good shot, isn't it, to put into Madam Tussauds? He's still yeah. frozen. It might be his connection though. You're not frozen, are you, Rish? No. No, you're fine. <laughs> you're fine. So, what do we do? Do we wait for Jay? Jay, you back yet? No. It's got to be his. Um... All right, you're going to have to, well, you're going to answer it anyway. And hopefully by the time we get to yeah. the next question, is he back? Yeah. Um, no, he's not back. Oh, he's still not back. <laughs> God, that's crazy. Hopefully. Yeah, okay. No, it's his internet. Because it's all fine for us. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, well, maybe he'll, he'll log back in. Yeah, he should log back in and I'll see him. Yeah, but yeah. but yes. Yeah, so this is the problem with live. Live is crazy. I know. Um, it's you know it's been a it's it is it, it is been a um, you know there's so much work that goes behind the scenes of making a record and I think with this um, it was a case of you know when when myself and Jay we were like we've got this song you know when he came down we worked on the music he was he was like we got to put it out you know how are we going to put it out do we take it to a label you know um we did take it to a few people and i guess the timing wasn't right for people but the beauty of this was that jay has his label yeah 
Yeah. I set up a label with with Kirani and Richard. You know, so three of us, three friends, we just got together and, and put um, and got a label, Break the Noise Records. And I was like to Jay, why don't we just do a joint venture and put this out? So you know, that's what that's what happened. We literally came together, and you know, we 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 put all our teams together. Jay's got his team. You know, in America, I've got you know, we've got our team here. Uh, some amazing team we've got. You know. In the marketing people, everything like that, and you know, and UK, uh, our UK marketing people, and we just like let's just all work together, you know. And it was a very, very kind of it was a re- it's been a very tough, stressful process because from a create because this our all our, our labels are run by artists, so it's mm-hmm. labels run by artists, you know. So it was a case of first getting the song right with us in the studio together getting the mix right, then the video concept and, you know, myself and Jay and the team, we were going back and forth, changing little bits on the video, you know, the animation, you know, uh, an amazing, uh, Hari Om done an amazing job on the animation. So it was a lot of people. Uh, and I, th- I said that to Jay, I was like, there's so many people working on this behind the scenes. Like he was, because as an artist, sometimes you just, he's just focused on what he needs to do. Yeah. And because I, you know, from a label point of view, I could see what was going on, you know, the WhatsApp groups that were going on marketing this, that, that, you know, and then yesterday when it finally came out, we were just like, okay, we can relax. Obviously we're doing promo now, but there is a lot that goes into this. Yeah, I can imagine. And do you know what? You can see, I mean, you can see it in, the, in terms of the result, right? The quality of it. Yeah. You can see it's a lot of hard work and effort. He hasn't come back in, by the way. I haven't seen him come back on. So I don't know what happened to him there. Let me um, see if he's missing. What's that? Let me see if he's messaged. Yeah. No, he okay, because I don't know. I must have been his internet connection. You know, I mean, how has it been for you guys working together, coming back and working together after? I mean, obviously you've you've kept that friendship. You've you know you've kept in touch. But how do you maintain that friendship and this brilliant relationship with you guys working together? How was it from two thousand and four to now in two thousand and twenty? Um, you know, it's been one of those things where I I I think um. In, you know, we started off working together, then we became friends and we became like brothers. Um, and we've gone to witness each other's career and what we've done. Um, it's it's something where, you know, we have that respect for each other as well. You know, I wouldn't say we speak every day, you know, um, because you just don't with friends as well. You know, you just, everyone just gets on with what they need to do. But the one thing we have is that mutual respect that when, if one of us call and say, look, let's work together, or I need you to feature one of my songs, or can you produce this? You know, and I have that with quite a few artists. And I think that's that producer artist relationship. And, you know, a testament of time is that 15 years later or 16 years later, we're still making records together, you know, and we still yeah. have the same amount of uh, pride and joy when we make music together. So yeah, it's, it's, it's still a beautiful process. It has been. It's all, it always has been. Yeah, that's amazing, though. And I've had a comment saying, you know, and how about a collaboration between Jay Sean and Rishi Rich and Jackie D? What do you think of that? Yeah, that's already happened. We've actually oh. we we recorded a, a, a song with the three of us and another artist yeah. um, from India who's just um, on his way to be become an amazing artist. So, you know, we've we've got a Rishi Rich project track uh, recorded, which could have come out before this. Yeah. Um, but you know, we decided you know to put this out, so that you know that's going to be that's going to be coming out soon, and I, I think people will enjoy that. No, oh, that'll be good. So something to look forward to. Um, some more com- uh, comments. Absolutely love the song. Um, lots of love to Jay Sean and Rishi Rich. Thank um, you. And someone Amit Halai, hold tight. Nehi Gina and eyes on you. Going back to the good old days back in two thousand and three. Um, Rishi Rich, I need a cut CD copy of Classic Cuts. And then yeah. comments for Jay to say sing, but he's not mm. here. <laughs> he got frozen. Um, and the way Jay is. Yeah, because there's a lot of comments coming through from people. Um, and then somebody called Raj Bed, they said, how did you decide to use the Bazi Guard? Yeah, Bazi Guard something. Yeah. Um, yes, yeah. yeah, so it, it was a case of when we were, we were in here in Mumbai. Um, we went out, we came back and, you know, obviously I've, we've got this team well i've got a team with myself and kirini that we produce for other artists and we write and it was you know jay was here with the three of us and we were just going through like 90s bollywood that music that we love you know which I, but all of us love whether it was ashiki bazigar and 
that Dere uh, Jerepe came on and um, we just all looked at each other and went, okay, this is, because it's quite an underrated song in Barzigan. You know, it's not the, the title song or anything like that. And um, I love flutes, as people know. So it had this flute hook and I was like, we, you know, Jay was like, sample this. And that was it. Didn't think of copyright at the, at the time and clearing the sample. Luckily, you know, Venus Music really kind of uh, supported us, you know, in getting that clearance and stuff like that. Um, and it just worked out really well because, you know, I love sampling records. I've done it with, I did it with Stolen. You know, I did, I sampled Juralia in Stolen. Um, and, you know, it's it's that, it, there is an art to sam sampling. And if you get the right sample with the right drums, with the right song, the melody, it's it's a beautiful thing. And then I've got a question for you, Rishi. Um, do you still watch Colombo from Dual Raj, Gil? Yes, on Sundays. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, every Sunday I watch Colombo. It's the thing that I've always had. I've, you know, I've I've done that. People know that. Uh, um, I love it that people know that I I like Colombo. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I still watch. That. I love it. And then Muksad Ahmed said, "Rishi Rich, you rock from all artists, buddy." Thank you so much, Muksad. Um, and there's loads of comments coming in actually. So this is a question for you both. Are you finding it easy now to market the audio and gain extreme exposure compared to 2004? And if yes, what platforms do you use to market yourself the correct way and to the correct audience? Um, yeah, I think, you know, it's, I think marketing is a skill in itself. You know, before um, when we put music out, you know, we had, uh, we had a team where it was PR, you know, to get your music out there. But I think now, like we've got media moguls in UK, uh, Raj, and we've got Black Cab here in India, um, and they work together because that's what they do day in day out. You know, um, I don't. You know, I, I, I would, I, I kind of express like this is what I would love, you know, to do in terms of where, what target audience it should reach. But these guys do this for a living, so we leave it to them. You know, and as you said, times have changed now, and you know the way you get your music to people is so different. You know. People listen to their, you know, to music on 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 streaming platforms. So you need to make sure it's visible there, you know, uh, you know, even with your even with your video and stuff like that. You know, everyone watches it on their phone now, really. You know, so you've got to make sure that yeah, it's there's so many things that that go into now marketing a record, um, you know, and with the things of like Trailer and TikTok coming in, you know, people there's so many kind of platforms you can use to market your your music. It's not just now about kind of, okay, here's my song, go and buy it, you know? Yeah, yeah, no, I understand, that's true. And then another question, you know, you've been instrumental in bringing out so many new artists, um, Jay, Veronica, and a couple more. Are you working with a new artist that we will get to hear from soon? Yes, I've been working, you know, with the label, I've been working on some great new artists. We we just had a track with uh, Ravina Mehta, which was a, one of my personal favorites. So she's, a, you know, a new artist that's coming through. Um, Yashraj, who's a rapper from, from Mumbai, who's incredible, you know, uh, worked with Jagdar Rashtor. Um, some, one of my favorite artists is Yash Navikar, you know, from India, who featured on um, Half Girlfriend, Mere Dilme and Mubaraka. And he's like, you know, he's, he's one artist that really ex like makes, excites me, you know, when I work with him. Um, and I'm always looking for new artists, you know, I'm listening to new music every day. So, you know, uh, yeah, I'm excited to kind of be working with different artists. And then Kyle Hare is asking, um, the international market has incredible LGBT talent such as Sam Smith, Billie Eilish, but this hasn't really been acknowledged in this British Asian music scene. You know, is this down to having a fear of music sales? Um, I don't know really. I mean, I think it's a case of, I think it's a case of like, I have, you know, I think artists should just be fearless, you know, whatever, whatever, wherever you're coming from, just, you know, to put, to put music out there. Um, you know, the Asian scene has been, it, you know, if you, it, you can even say that, that, you know, I've always said that there needs to be more female artists, UK, yeah. British Asian female artists coming through, you know, so I think every, um, every kind of angle has, like, we can improve here or let's get more, you know, um, artists more like this, more like that. So I just think it's it's something that I would love to explore actually, you know, to really kind of, because I've always been that kind of producer and with that mindset that 
we need to break down barriers. We need to do yeah. things, uh, you know, uh, we, we, need to, we need to do things which are groundbreaking and, you know, we need to change the, uh, you know, the way music, you know, the industry. And I think that's something that I did when, when we did Dance With You, we were told that, you know, you can't combine Punjabi and R&B and it won't, you know, mainstream, uh, you know, uh, media and radio channels will, and radio stations will never play your music. You know, if it's got Punjabi in it, and we kind of we we literally knocked that door down. You know, not much only us, but Punjabi MC. You know, you had Ragiv, all these people that came through. So, what if if I say fight for the cause, man? Like if you if you believe in something, just go for it. Yeah, hundred percent. That's really you know? good. Then, what advice would yeah. you give to young talent who are, you know, looking to get into the music industry right now, especially in in the times that we're in, and we don't know what's going to happen going forward because it's just getting harder yeah. and harder. What would you say it is that? very it's very hard you know and i think um you know with 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 the with the likes of like instagram i think that's a great platform for, for artists you know i've i someone like ravina that you know i work with i met her through instagram you know she literally sent me her stuff and um and that's how we got connected um so i think with artists is you know just just record as much music as you can and get it to as much people as you can you know, in lockdown, obviously now things are kind of, it's a bit of a roller coaster whether we're in lockdown or it, things are easing up, but everyone is really at home. So everyone is accessible. Your favorite producer, you know, people that you want your music to, you know, no one can really say that we haven't got time at the moment, we're busy. Everyone is busy, but everyone's at home, you know. Yeah. Um, I've, I've been finding myself listening to a lot of, um, you know, getting back to a lot of messages that I get sent with people, new artists getting, you know, sending me their music. So. Yeah, just don't give up, man. Just believe believe in yourself. You know, um, I think it's a case of, you know, with me, I, I, I worked for 10 years before Dance With You came out, perfecting a sound. You know, I really believed in what I, I this is my sound. So I think just uh, have that full faith in yourself, you know, and I'm, I'm all for like this industry that I've been involved with. Like we have to kind of bring in new artists and, you know, it has to grow. So yeah, just, uh, and people, you know, you can DM me on Instagram or you can send me your, you know, if you guys got, you know, uh, uh, music that you recorded. I love listening to new new music and new artists. Oh, that's lovely. They just had a comment saying, thank you, Rishi. Great advice. And it is. You know what? I think that's the thing, Rishi. We need people like you who are in all industries, right, that are giving new talent a chance. Because I think, yeah. especially one with women, definitely. And yeah new talent because i think it's so hard right for anyone who wants to break through they've got this dream but they don't really know how to follow it through and i think we need more people like you doing that so it's quite nice that you are doing it already and you're that champion and yeah you know, about taking it forward so that's fantastic who's your inspiration there's so many people you know i think um you know everyone knows that i'm really close to my mom you know she's always been that uh, voice of reason for me you know i've got amazing bunch of kind of good friends around me you know um my family back in london my cousins you know it's you know it's i think inspiration is something that you take from people that you can just pick up the phone and just say look um and you not necessarily talk about work or music you know so uh, i i've got some really special people around me and i think that's important um to have that and obviously you know uh just like mute people that i've looked up to musically you know, I, I love, uh, you know, I love kind of studying uh, producers, especially if they're a bit crazy and stuff like that. So, yeah, but I think, you know, just keep keep your special people close to you because, it, you know, uh, they are your your inspiration, really. Yeah, definitely. And once again, um, tell us about Nakare. It released yesterday, but for those that have just joined, um, yeah. tell us about the For those that have just joined, Jay was on the conversation and he froze. <laughs> And we don't know, we lost him. Um, but Nakre, yeah, it was basically a track which um, was released yesterday on um, on on Break the Noise and Camouflage um, Entertainment. You know, it was written by Kirani and Jay, produced by myself. Um, and it's just been a great, great kind of response, you know. Got Jay to sing in Punjabi for the first time, um, sampled Bazigurd, and the response has been great. So. You know, and check out the video. It's a great nod to Eyes on You. And then, you know, halfway through, it goes into animation. And Jay kind of picks out, we've got him to pick out iconic Shah Rukh Khan's, you know, scenes where he's the animated character. It's, it's just, it's just good vibes, man. 
It is good vibes. I can say that to anyone who's just joined. I love the animation, by the way, Rishi. I really like that. Thank you. It really Thank took you. me back. That's to that Michael Hadi Orm from here, who's very talented. You know, um, and people don't understand like animation takes a long time, and we okay. we were we were like, you need to deliver it on this day. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it really did. You know, just to even get Jay's face looking like Jay. Yeah. You know, in animation, you know which it does. So it was it yeah. It does. Cool. It was wicked. Yeah. And it was such an upbeat song. And to everybody that has joined, you know, in the times that we're in, these really difficult, uncertain times, this is what you need, right? This is the song just to take you back to, you know, the yeah. days of 2004 where you just feel there's no worries or anxiety, but it's a really good yeah. song, honestly. I find it really hard. Like, you know, if you, you know, whether you like the song or not, that's a different thing. But when you watch the video, you can't watch the video and go, no, nah, I'm not really feeling that. Yeah. I don't like that. There's no way, even the, the biggest hater in this world will watch that video and go, you know, that's actually... You know, it it should make you smile because it is very. It's just I think it's very cool. I think it's very cool. It you know, this, this, you know, it's it's just a harmless. There's nothing. There's everything about that is just so positive. Yeah, yeah, no, it is. And and what platforms is it available on? If anybody wants to get, the... um, yeah, so everywhere. You know, obviously the videos on YouTube, so you can go on Break the Noise Records on YouTube. Um, you can check out Jay's profile. You know, all these Instagram handles. Um. You know, Spotify is your Apple Music, uh, Ghana's, you know, uh, Geo Sarvans, all the DSPs, you know, so it's, it's available everywhere. And finally, what's the future plans and what next? Um, well, got, you know, we're working on a new single. Uh, we're getting that ready, which is going to be with an amazing artist. Um, like we said, we've done a Rishi Rich project track as well. So we're putting that into motion. Um, there's some great stuff that I've been working on um, besides just music, which is kind of, you know, scoring, you know, for some TV platforms that I'm doing. And, you know, hopefully myself and Jay will be working together a lot more with Juggy, with new artists. So, yeah, just keep an eye out. And um, thank you so much for the support. You know what? Thank you so much for speaking to Punjab 2000. Keep inspiring, keep smashing it. And you know what? Thank you for bringing out a tune that we all needed in these difficult times. And um, to everyone, just stay safe, stay well. And last comment, good to see Rishi busy and bringing in artists globally, collaborating, keeping it real. Sing South or Birmingham, London, Brighton, keep it locked. I love yeah. that. <laughs> That's brilliant, yeah. But thank, thank you, you so much. Honestly, thank, thank you, Rishi. You. Keep up the great work, yeah. And um, thank you, know, you, thank so you much. for sparing your time as well. So thank you, everyone. Take care. Thank you. Catch us on Take Facebook. Care. Take care. Bye. Bye. Bye.